Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and we're still just about continuing with two puzzles a day um, and I'm looking forward to this one a couple just two restrictions which is good and they're both from our apps which is even better one is uh, the thermos as you can see in the grid they have to strictly increase from the bulb and the other is a night's move restriction so four for instance can't see another four in any of these cells so that's the two restrictions we've got. This puzzle's by Ri Sa, a Malaysian who sent us the minimalist puzzle, which I did three or four weeks ago. And uh, he says this is tougher, so <laughs> we shall see. Um, I suspect he's right, because there's so little in the grid. I mean, I'm quite looking forward to it, I have to say. Do have a go if you're interested on the link below the, below the video. Um, and if you want to just follow along, or if you've done that already and you've come back, Let's get cracking, see how we go. So, I think the best place always to start is with the longest thermometers. And actually two here start in the same box. So that might be helpful, although we have so little information. Let's start with one, two, three. Two, three, five, yes, that's right, because at the end of this thermo it can't be more than nine, obviously. So, sorry, not six there seven or eight there, eight or nine at the end, okay. Ah, oh, look, knight's move, let's not forget that. That's six, sees into that cell. So this can't be five anymore, because it has to be lower than the one next to it. That can't be three. So actually, that thermometer immediately, as it were, comes down to just two candidates for each cell. Still, you. Now, what about this one? So I suppose one, two, three, four to start with. Two, three, no, let's take the four out. Two, three, four there, three, four, five there, because that's blocked. Can't be six. No, but it could be seven. Okay, we'll put the five back. Crumbs. Um, this one, though, oh, could be any of five numbers. But the six now can't be here and isn't on any of the thermo cells in that row in that box so six is in one of those and that means it's up here in row three somewhere could be on the end of the th on the near end of the thermo um ah yes yes the whole point of looking at this box which has the beginnings but not the ends of thermometers in it is to ask where do 8 and 9 go? Obviously, they can't go on any cells of the thermometers that aren't in its last two. So, with those highlighted, you can see 8 and 9 go in the white cells along with 6. So that forms a triple. Um, and that must give us a start. So, how's that going to help? Okay, yeah, next question. Where does 7 go in the box? We've done eight and nine as far as we can. Seven is only available here, so we can fill it in. We've got a number in the grid. We're cooking with gas. Now, that means we can carry on to the end of the thermometer and put in eight and nine. And look, they're looking straight at that cell, so that's a six. Yes. Um, gives us an eight, nine pair here. And don't forget the knights move. Eight there, so we can actually disambiguate that nine, eight into those and there's another knight's move seven is seeing that cell so there's only one possibility left there. that's five that allows us to go back down to the beginning of the thermometer and fill them all in two more cells to go in this box they must be four five in that order because of the thermometer okay well that's a start that gets us going doesn't it now well, actually, 8, 9 there, 8, 9 there. So 8 in one of those two cells. 9 in column 2 must be up at the top. It could be any of those three. Um, there's not much we can do beyond that in these columns because 8 and 9 are the only repeated digits in, in columns 1, 2, 3 for us. 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, though, in this row. That's what I was going to look at. So the others are... Six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, this one can't be six because there's a six in the box. This one can't be nine because it's not on the end of its thermometer. 
So that means, ah, oh, yeah, that means this is 7, 8, or 9 up here. And that's forming a triple in row 3. That takes the 9 out of this cell. That leaves us with an 8, 9 pair up there. Um, now, how can we use that in box 1? Well, 6, 7. Yeah, 6 is seeing all of those cells. So 6 must be up here somewhere. And then down there. Okay, well, that's something. Um, seven's not as restricted, irritatingly. This cell sees eight, nine, two, four, five, six on the knight's move. Oh, and seven in the triple there. So that's one or three. Yes, this triple may be useful. Seven, eight, nine, triple. What about this cell? 789 it sees, 36 on the vertical, 1 and 4 by knight's move, so it's 2 or 5. This one, 789, 1, 4, 3, 2, 5 or 6. Oh look, that 4 is seeing both of those cells, so where does 4 go in row 3? None of the marked ones, so 4 must actually be here. We can place the cell right out there. Um, and that four is seeing those, and that, and that, and this four is seeing that, and that. Ah, and that four is seeing that, so we can place four in box six as well. To go with that, we get a four in one of those pair of cells. But it could be on the thermo, or it could be off it. Um... Now, what about this 789 triple? Yeah, this cell is seeing all of these three. So whatever's in this cell has to be in this one, because it can't be in any of those three. So that's not a 6 anymore. It's either 7, 8, or 9 to match that. Um, I don't know, there's something funny going on with these relationships. Oh, well, look at the interesting pattern in this box. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hats off if you've spotted this at this stage. Nine there is ruled out of those cells. If this was a nine, it would be ruled out of all of those cells by two by regular Sudoku, two by knight's moves, and there'd be nowhere to put a 9 in the central box if this was a 9, so it isn't. Wow, 8 there, 7 on the thermo, 9 there. Now that's the 9 that's seeing all of those three cells. So in row 4 we can fill in 9 there. This one is now seeing an 8 and a 9, so it must be a 7. Wow, this is a crazy puzzle. So this is a 6-8 pair, obviously. I say obviously, as I've only just worked it out. Um, oh, 8 is seeing that one. So it's not a pair. It's a pair of given numbers. Right, 6 is quite lower than I was expecting. So this must be 5, 3, or 2 on the thermo. 1, 2, or 3 on the bulb. 7, bam, can't be there. It's got to be there. 7, 4... These can't be 5, so 5 has to be here. <laughs> Fantastic, because of that 5 there, seeing those. So we've got a weird 1, 2, 3 triple there. Um, 5, 7, 9 can't be there, so it's in one of those two. It was 9 that helped us resolve this whole thing. Very kind number. Now, which of these is 8? Ah, oh, yeah. One of them is clearly not 8, so 8 can go in there. 9, 3, though, can't be here. So I'm, I'm just going to fill in all these possibilities, actually, because it might help us see things. 2 is restricted to those 3 because of that can't be a 2, but all of them could be 1. So there are a few possibilities there, but we've got a lot of these middle boxes, 4, 5, and 6, done. And I mean, that 
wasn't expected particularly. Now look, this 5 is seeing both of those cells. So 5 in row 3 has to be in one of those two. So that is surely helpful. 7 now is restricted out of all of those. It must be up here. I was going to say with the 6, but actually I, I don't know. The 6 could well be here. Um, what about this cell? 7, 8, 9, 4, 5. Oh, it's quite a lot of possibilities. 1, 2, 3, or 6. It does see both of those. I don't think that helps us yet. This one, I suppose, could be anything as well. 1, 2, 3, or 6 as well. Um, okay, well, that wasn't as fruitful as I was hoping. 9 must be in one of those two in column 9. 4, yeah, we've done that. Okay. 8, 8 in this box. They're all ruled, ruled out by regular Sudoku. And those two by knights move from there. Oh, look, and that eight is ruling out that, so we can actually fill in eight. Um, oh, but eight in one of those, and I can't decide which. Frustratingly. Seven there and seven there means seven here is in one of those two. No, nothing further from that. How about four then up here? That's ruled out of all of those. So four goes in one of those. Five similarly ruled out of those. Um, and that reaches, they all see that cell. This five is ruled out of those. That's not quite as helpful as I was hoping for, I have to say. Now, these? Oh, look, this cell sees all of those three, doesn't it? This one by regular, those two by knight's move. So it can't be any of one, two, or three, because that has to be a triple. And it can also see nine, six, and five. So it's four, seven, or eight. And act. Oh, sorry, I've got too many highlighted. Four, seven, or eight. It cannot be 8, because that would put a 9 here, which is impossible. It can't be an 8 here either. So this is not 7 or 8, it is the 4. Wow, that is bizarre. Right, this can't be 8, 9, or 7 by knight's move. Or 5, it must be 6. I thought this little thermometer wasn't very helpful, and suddenly it's doing everything. Um, 1, 2, or 3 there. I uh, can't decide which one. Wow, that was a surprise. Right, six there, six there. Six is restricted to one of those two. Um, ah, it's taken out of there. Oh, and that does still leave two six possibilities in row three. Um, how about eight? We've already restricted to one of those. Seven now has to be one of those three. They all see that cell. Knights move and regular. And look, there's two sevens up there. So seven is restricted to one of these two. And that rules out this one, just looking back at those three. So we can take it out of there. Oh, and those, and now we've got two sevens left in row nine for that box nine. That takes seven out of there and places it here. Suddenly, I mean, that's mad how the sevens have all sorted themselves out in the bottom three boxes. That is absolutely insane, but really lovely. So that's not a seven. Is this the only position for eight now? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. I always feel like I've done something wrong there. That was so pretty. I hope I haven't. Right, four can see that cell. All of those are ruled out along with that one. So four is restricted to one of those. And that puts four over here. Four is in one of those two. They both see that cell. So that's not a four. Ugh, little ugly pattern of fours there that in a knight's move 
well obviously you know they're diagonally next to each other but very hard to resolve uh, five and two can't be there so they must be in the corners here is that useful not enough three six four six seven eight ah oh, yeah no nine i've already filled that in as in one of those oh why does it suddenly peter out just when you think you've sol you're solving everything all at once it just stops now Where's 9 in column 5? Well, that 9 means it can't be in any of those three. That 9 means it can't be there. Oh, it's in one of those two. Oh, I thought I was onto something there. Not quite. No, not there either. Right, what about this cell? That can see 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Two and five by night smooth, so it's either one or four. And that is another cold trail. These are from one, three, and six. Seven, nine, nine, four, one, three, or six. One must be in one of these three. They all see this cell. Nah, we haven't. But we've got something. No, I was thinking that pattern was similar. Yeah, it does mean that this, which sees all of them, actually, again, it was just like that one up there. This sees all of these numbers, which are 1, 2, 3, and 9. So this can't be 1, 2, 3, and 9. 7, 8, and 4, 6 are in the row. That is one of the more peculiar naked singles I've ever seen. That's a 5. That takes 5 out of there. Please, that be a bit more helpful. Yes, that takes 5 out of here as well. So 5 is there and there. So one of these two in row 8 is, oops, is a 5. Mad. 5, 8, 7. So Four, we've restricted six looks quite restricted now those are gone that's gone that's gone six is in one of those two yes so that means the six in row eight can't be anywhere along here it must be here excellent so that's not six five that's one two or three we're getting a lot of these one two and three possibilities everywhere um Seven, six, four, three. Oh, don't let the trail run dry here. Come on. Now, that one, two, and three could all see that cell. So by the same token, they can all see this cell. Why didn't I think of that earlier? And look, that cell can see one, two, and three there. Seven, eight, five, four, six. It's another peculiar night smooth naked single. Nine there. So nine in row nine is in one of those two and that's giving us a four six nine triple along here let's just yeah that's right four six nine triple so seven eight there um this can't be five it could be any of one two or three yet again one two and three doing their little dance all over the puzzle and in fact, that's what we need to make up row seven. They're all one, two, and three. That one can't be a one at the beginning. Uh, I can take six. Oh, am I? No, five could still be in either of those. I thought I might be left with just one five possibility. Wow, this is weird. Okay, one, two, and three there. Are they all seeing? Yeah, they're all seeing that cell, aren't they? They are. Yes, they are. So that cannot be any of one, two, or three. That's where the nine is. Crazy. I didn't expect that. So nine in box two can't be there or there because of this one. That one is ruling out those two. That does leave a few possibilities, but I love this because those three cells where nine could be can all see this cell. So that's not a nine. 
Fantastic. Eight there, nine there, which rules out the nine possibility here. So nine is now, and it's not that nine <laughs> rules out that one. Oh, elegant. Well, I mean, I should have actually looked at that. Those three weren't all possible because those two were prevented from being a nine by those two. But never mind, I like the way we got there. Nine there. And that's left only one place for five in box two. This is such a tough puzzle. But it's working together so beautifully. Like five and six in the top right box. A one, two, three, triple yet again in this column. So that puts five there. Um, one, two, three, triples literally everywhere in the bottom of the grid now. So weird. How are we ever going to resolve them? Um, four, six, nine, seven, eight. Where does five go down here? Still don't know for sure. I'm just kind of assuming we'll be able to resolve all one, one, two, everything but one, two, or three now. Um, seven is up in one of those, and just as I say that, I cannot fix that seven and that seven, or the fours in those cells. So they certainly are outliers. Um, and in fact, fives in that sort of little X wing, I have not resolved as well. Darn. Right, so six now is restricted to those two cells in box two by that six and that six. Um, did they, they both see that, but that was not a candidate. Oh, no, that can still be six. Oh, come on, keep going here. Gonna have to find another triple of these one, two, threes all looking into the same cell somewhere. I think. I mean, it's worked. It's worked twice already. Maybe three times. Surely we can find one more where it'll happen. Those those two have to include one because of that one. So this is not a one. That means these do include one. So that's not one. Maybe we're going to just have to pick these off one by one. Not a pun intended on one there. Um. Eight, seven, nine, that, and that kind of ran dry, unfortunately. One is in one of those. Yeah, we knew that. Oh, come on, come on. Eight. No, I haven't finished off eight. There's another eight to go in there. Um, eight, nine, six, four. Ah, so this is a kind of one, two, three, seven. Quadruple. Pity that square isn't vacant because it looks at them all. I'm just learning that. Four, six. This has to either be one, two, or three, doesn't it? Five, nine, eight, seven, not possible. Four, not possible for some reason. Why have I said that's not a four? Because of where fours are there. So that's given me a one, two, three, triple. That's four or six down there. This is four or six up here, but it's not four. That has to be a six because of that one, two, three, triple. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. And that is new news to me. This can't be six. The last six goes in here. So those are not a six, seven pair as I had thought they were going to be. Um... Oh, we're still not finished, and I have a feeling not by a long chalk. That could be one, two, or four. Can't be three. One, two, three, or four there, though. Um, ah, one, two, three, triple along here. Actually, yes, five must be here. That six resolved the five, didn't it? So at least I can do all my fives. Let's take five out of there. Ah, oh, yet again. Another one, two, three, triple down here. We've got, got that two done. Yeah, we've got that one, two, three because of the thermo. So that's why one of them has come out of each of those boxes now. That's one, two, or four for the column. These are two, three, or seven for the column. That one can't be two because of the ninth move. 
Uh, that can be those. So I think now I've got literally all the candidates filled in everywhere. Now I'm going to have to do something smart to spot how they're all operating on something. So three, three, three. Are they all reaching anywhere? No, not really. Oh, this can't be seven. Sorry. How do we find something that they're all working on together? I mean, this pattern of diagonally adjacent squares is very unhelpful in chess Sudoku. That really isn't getting much done. Oh, by the way, yes, I can do all this 649, that nine possibilities seeing that cell. So at least I can do those three. But I mean, I should have done those ages ago. They were the last three sitting down there. Um, so maybe we have to look somewhere else. If that was a one, say, that couldn't be one. So one would be there. Um, not that helpful, but one of those three would be, oh, one would be there, wouldn't it? not actually telling me very much. One could be in either of those. Ew, no, that really didn't help. Whatever this is has to be the same as that though. And that. So this is ruling out those three and also those two. So whatever this is, is the same as that and that. It's one of those two, one of those two, one of those, it's the same as that because it's identical number in box eight must be in row seven and it's identical number in box seven must then be in row nine. So these are all the same digit, whatever they are. might colour them just so I've got a record. They're all the same. I'm not missing anything on the thermos, no. They're all effectively resolved so far. Once I get the last number, it must work. Those two could both be one. Oh, if only they both reached another cell. How are we going to disambiguate this last bit? Sorry if you are shouting at me for not spotting something that is really quite plausible at this point but it looks very tricky to me to disambiguate this now that has to be different from both of those doesn't it so does that mean that's a one two three triple i think it does oh no it doesn't those could be the same Oh, how frustrating. Right. But if that was three, say. Oh, I really thought that was a triple all looking at that cell, but that does not work. If that was a two, the only place for a two in row two would be there, and that would lead into all the green cells. That would make that a two. Ah, and that doesn't work because there would be nowhere for a two in row nine. So that is not a two. One of those two is, ah, we've got a one three pair in the row. So the only place for a two in row three is now there. Christ, that's a weird way of getting to that. So the only place for a two in row five is there. Are we actually, dares to hope we're approaching the home straight here but that may be going too far um, uh, yeah and as I say that the chain peters out immediately just to drive me mad right two in one of those oh no two must be locked in one of those two cells 
So those two cannot be two. So we now know there's a two here. Okay, twos are still working a bit for us. None of those two can be a two. That puts a two here, not here. In row seven, it's there. That sorts out this whole one, two, three there. Surely we're getting closer now. Yeah, that makes this a one and this a three. Come on, come on, keep going. Yes, one, three, one, three. Uh, yes, one, two. This is disambiguating everything. Thank the Lord. Three there. We've got a one, seven pair here still to resolve. That three is seeing that cell. Yes, actually, so was that one. Uh, four. And we've done the fours now. Still haven't done the sevens. That's peculiar. This one's a two. Three and seven up there. One, yes, they're all resolved by ordinary Sudoku. I was looking at the knight's moves. Seven and one there. And I think we're done. Let's just do the colouring into white. I'm going to press the check button and hope it works. Oh, yeah. So we're done. What a puzzle. That's brilliant. Thank you very much to Risa for that. That really is an intriguing puzzle. So little information brilliantly comes together. If you found that easier than me, let me know because I may well have struggled badly there, but that struck me as a tough one. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.